Which artist's one work would you love to live with and why? Hmm. You know, where should I go with that? Uh, the Van Dyke that I came around the corner in the Louvre, and there it was, and it was like the wow factor. Jeez, uh, any number of Velasquez and Prado. How about the, the hall and the National Gallery in London where Titian and Tintoretto and Veronese hang out? I mean, holy shit, just trying to find one in that room that you go home with instead of the other would be a major task you know uh, okay so let's put away those that are way way out of reach and let's just come closer to home and let's say ah I would love a Litsky mit, mit painting um, any number of them uh, I would love any number of Hoffmans to live with. It probably Jules always chose Hoffman, and and he could he had a couple I think, um, not major ones, but significant ones enough to remind him of the level, because that would be the point to keep your standard in sight at all times, not just when you go to a special des designation show. But, you know, in your home, living with day to day, feeling in all light and all that kind of stuff and being constantly reminded, OK, boy, here's the mark on the wall. Are you serious or not? <laughs> are you trying for this or are you just trying? Sort of. <laughs> there is no try. <laughs> so. Hmm. I could go on and on and on naming uh, names because I, uh, I love art. I mean, I just love all aspects and not just visual art. I mean, I love music. You know, I love uh, opera. I love uh, drama. I, you know, I love the arts. I love humanity. I, I am a person and I feel that's what I, my job is, is to appreciate the culture and to express it and my special uh, abilities to s express it visually but um, that doesn't mean that would be you know I mean actually you know Beethoven should be here in my studio playing for me while I'm painting that's how about that one has anybody answered that that's a, <laughs> you know what would I have though I'll bring back a Beethoven and but I mean actually we do that with CDs but um, so I guess we sort of achieved that one in a, at least a one remove, um, but to have a real work present is significant. I have that African piece that actually it's not an African piece; it's a slave piece. I've been always so happy to have that. I've had uh, uh, Noland and Litsky Poonses. Uh, unfortunately, I had hard times a couple of times, and I had to sell them with their blessing. Thank God. Uh, though still, now there's a regret. It isn't a mistake. I had to do it. It was the way to do it. I, you know, and, and I, so I don't regret it that way, but I do wish I still had, especially that Nolan. That Nolan was a killer diller. The Olitsky was, you know, it was an Olitsky. It was not my favorite. It was the one I could have. <laughs> And so that was okay. I had it, and but it was not like the one that set the bar. Um, the Poons, both Poons could have been that, but the Nolan was just a jumping masterpiece, and you know I just loved it and loved it. So I do miss having that kind of thing, especially something closer to my time, you know, that um, instead of like Titian and. Alaska's and so forth that I was mentioning first, but uh, you know, like how current would I get to someone um, that I would just 
love to have. Um, um, well, I don't know. I, I guess I really I, I answered it. So. Okay.